Good afternoon, anyone, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed your lunch. Um, thank you for, again for joining us today. And um, we'll continue with our afternoon session. So this session will be, will be focusing on developing and implementing best practices in data stewardship. We have several speakers, and I'll be introducing them as they come up. Um, I'm Nafisad Oki, uh, Program Director for the Data Science, Computational Biology, and Bioinformatics Program at NIDCR. Some of you may already know me. And our first speaker today is Alicia Chow. She's our director for our translational biology, sorry, translational genetics and genomics program at NIDCR. And in addition to this role, she is also actively involved in implementing our GDS policy and our data management and sharing plan policy. And she also serves as the chair of our genomic program administrator. She's our genomic program administrator and chair of our data access committee. So Alicia will be here to talk some more about our the new NIH. Well, it's not so new anymore because we've already started implemented it. They did a management and sharing policy and things related to that. Thank you. All right, thank you, Nafsat. Um, and thank you everyone for being here today. Uh, can you hear me okay? Um, so my talk today is less, going to be less focused exclusively on the NIH data management and sharing policy, but more just setting the stage for uh, the session this afternoon. Uh, so again, the uh, session is focused on developing and imp implementing best practices in data stewardship. Um, so as Dr. Webster Syriac uh, touched on in her opening remarks, uh, making progress and advancing on the priorities outlined in NIDCR's strategic plan really necessitates uh, data availability. And what does that mean? Data sh sharing and sharing of research results is critical to facilitating discovery and application of data-driven solutions and data-driven research that uh, ultimately promotes oral and craniofacial health, but further will help connect, get us to the goal of achieving overall health for individuals. Um, so as mentioned, so last year, uh, the NIH Data Management and Sharing, or DMS, policy went into effect. Um, and this really uh, represents one step by NIH to really foster and encourage this culture of data sharing. Um, so this policy applies to the majority of NIH-funded research. It's all grants and projects that generate scientific data. And as defined here, it's a recorded factual material of sufficient quality uh, to validate and replicate research findings, regardless whether or not the data was used in publications or for publications. And so really the, the primary objectives of this policy you can see outlined here is really to promote public trust in research, generating that culture of uh, data stewardship and transparency, and promoting uh, rigorous and reproducible research. Um, and connecting it back to the slide you just saw um, previously, really enabling in-depth uh, data-driven discoveries uh, that makes use of this shared data. And so the, the policy requires that a data management and sharing plan uh, be submitted with uh, applications. And you can see outlined here the key elements of a data management and sharing plan. So really what this gets to is addressing the key what, where, and how of uh, the data sharing that will take place. What types of data are you generating? What research tools uh, may be required to access or interpret the data that will be shared? Uh, um, describing the data standards and common data elements that were used in your data collection so that uh, to enable others to interpret uh, your results. Um, and then uh, getting into the data preservation access timeline what repository you'll be sharing the data with, and then ultimately who is responsible for the oversight um, at your institution. And so NIH, both NIH and NIDCR have a wealth of resources uh, that cover expectations for data sharing and management. Um, there's the, the main NIH site um, on the, over on the right-hand side of the slide. Uh, so sharing.nih.gov. And then in, in addition to that, NIDCR has our own uh, data management and sharing policy resource page. Um, and for the extramural community, one of your primary sources of information on the DMS policy 
consult with your program officer if you have any questions. Um, so that gets us to the top, uh, session that we're in today. Uh, so uh, Navasat will go on and introduce uh, our speakers for today, but just as a high level, uh, today's session is really to highlight different approaches um, for developing and implementing best practices and data stewardship. And so today's session, you'll hear talks uh, talking about not only how safe space is supporting uh, data stewardship, but also hear some practical examples uh, from investigators on how uh, they have made their uh, data available to the research community and lessons learned along the way. Um, with that, I will turn it over to Nafasat to introduce our next speaker. <laughs> 